We will divide the cockpit into major sections that make it easier to study. I will try to present these sections in the order in which they appear in the written PDF manual for this aircraft, just to make it easier for anyone who wants to see these tutorials while following along with the written text of the manual that is included with the airplane. Let us now take a look at the different sections of the AN-24 cockpit before we study the individual instruments contained in them. This is the overhead panel. As you can see, this is quite a large panel, so when we study it, we will subdivide it into an upper portion and a lower portion and study them separately. This is the upper portion and this is the lower portion of the overhead panel. This is the left side instrument panel. This is the panel that is located to the left of the captain's seat. As you can see, it has a horizontal part and a vertical part. This is the captain's instrument panel. It is roughly the left one-third of the frontal main cockpit panel. This is the middle panel, or the center one-third of the frontal main cockpit panel. And here we have the first officer instrument panel, which comprises roughly of the right one-third of the frontal main cockpit panel. Here we have the right side instrument panel. This is the panel that is located on the right of the first officer's seat. Like the left side panel, it also consists of a vertical and a horizontal part. This is the middle console. This is where the throttle and autopilot controls are located. This is where the navigator's instrument panel is located. This location is a separate responsibility and gets its own seat, which is located behind the captain's seat. One way to look at all these panels is to turn your heads toward them, just as you saw me do in this video. Another way, which may be convenient in some situations, is to use this menu bar on the left to bring up their 2D versions which can be placed as you like via dragging and resizing. For example, if I want to bring up the NAV1 panel, I simply press NAV1 and I can drag it and I can also resize it according to my preference.